Language learning and multilingualism are central to the European project. They foster mobility, cooperation, and mutual understanding across borders. Foreign language skills are key to studying, working abroad, and enjoying Europe's cultural diversity. In 2019, EU member states agreed that, by the end of upper secondary education, European youth should have proficiency in their language of schooling plus two additional languages. The 2023 Eurydice Key Data on Teaching Languages at School in Europe report shows some good progress in early language learning, learning of English as a first foreign language, and teacher mobility. Over the past two decades, primary students have started to learn foreign languages at an increasingly early age, with English being the most popular. On average in the EU, 98.3% of lower secondary students learn English. Foreign language teacher mobility has increased from 57.6% to 72.2% in five years, with more than one in four mobile foreign language teachers supported by an EU programme. However, work remains to be done in other areas. For instance, between 2013 and 2020, at the EU level, there was hardly any change in the share of lower secondary students learning at least two foreign languages, about 59%. Results were even more disappointing in vocational education. Only about 35% learned two or more foreign languages. In secondary education, the most learned foreign languages after English were French and German. Furthermore, over 11% of 15-year-old students in the EU do not speak the language of schooling at home. Most educational systems support them in acquiring the language of schooling, but few pay attention to nurturing their mother tongues and use linguistically sensitive teaching. Language learning tools are available at EU level. The Erasmus Plus program helps support language learning by facilitating exchanges and mobility of students and teachers and cooperation between schools or universities. In addition, the European School Education Platform provides school communities with access to a variety of resources on language learning and language awareness. For more information on the status of language learning in the EU, check out the full 2023 Eurydice Key Data Report.